Suicide Productions? Worst name for a production company, ever. Might as well be called Kill Yourself Films. None in broad daylight. Worst that thing, um, oh yeah, cinematic integrity. Pointless Dutch angle. The world has betrayed me! Also, a crazy nun talking to herself at a park in broad daylight. You bitch, I know what you did! Who cares if it's windy? We'll just say it adds, um, intensity. Well, thanks for properly introducing two characters to us. Seriously, who are these people? And why did the nun become a murderer who has to sacrifice to a shark? This movie makes no f***ing sense. Stock footage shark, found on YouTube. Great. And more random stock footage. That's a problem when you're making a full feature film and not a homemade YouTube video. F*** you, Jamie Nichols. And also you, Donald Farmer. F*** you. Outside, and this car's got no air conditioning, real nice. Setting up random women in bikinis to be killed, cliche. You even managed to fuck up recreating a shot from Death Proof. Ugh. When you have no budget for extras, then maybe just shoot at a beach instead of at a random lake. I'm supposed to be distracted by these pretty girls in bikinis to mask up for the conversation not making any sense, but it's not working. Didn't you know, Steven Spielberg reuses random stock footage all the time. I get that the budget for this film might have been small, but the theater blood can't be that expensive. At least get something else than ketchup. Pretty sure you're supposed to get permission to film in a hospital. That's cool, whatever. If you're gonna act bitchy, maybe you should stop smiling while talking. This is not a talk into the audience moment, when you're supposed to be doing a fake reality TV show and your cameraman is in the background. Was it really that impossible to shoot at night to give a more dramatic look? Pretty sure you're supposed to add effects in post, so we don't just see a random woman rolling around talking to herself in a not-too-deeply-pitched voice. Also, was this edited in Windows Movie Maker? Cause it kinda seems like it. It's been three weeks and you just seem like, how do I seem, Emily? Maybe don't use the audio from the first table read in the actual movie. Hitchhiking on an empty road? Really? How lazy can you get? Classic douchebag rapist stereotype cliche. How's this not a porno? Please note, the first link in the description will redirect you to another cinema since parody I did over a year ago. I couldn't upload it to YouTube because of copyright problems, but it's on Facebook and I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. Alright, let's continue. Maybe next time, try taking out the audio of kids playing in the background. How can a shark even attack somebody at a water level that goes to your knees? Same porno douchebag actor from before. What was the budget for this movie? Three hundred thousand dollars? Fuck. Pointless touch angle again. Do they think it makes them cool? Breaking the fourth wall again. I'm a serious paranormal investigator. I created a psychic link. You couldn't dub this? Seriously? How unprofessional can you be? Accidental appropriate lighting. Clearly the people making this movie had enough money to hire a bunch of shitty so-called actors that they of course won't bother introducing us to. <laughs> <laughs> Exorcist scene done wrong. Low key lighting might have made this scene work. <laughs> a cultural movie must always have a montage of a retarded person running around a playground. I like to get wet. I'll repeat myself. <clears throat> How is this not a porno? Totally normal to have a swimsuit under your normal clothes. <laughs> Everything's just a nightmare cliche? Or transportation? I'm confused. I call upon the spirit of the water. The malevolent presence from hell. What's the plot again? Oh, I can feel you. Oh, come inside me. Alright, it's official. This is a porno. Which explains a lot. More Dutch angles to set the scene for exposing a fake reality TV host, which turns into a demon scene. Random guy runs around for several minutes. I'm just gonna throw it out there. This is such an obvious attempt at tax fraud. More people we're not introduced to. Just give it a rest already. We get it. You had a lot of excess money to burn through. Something for the BBW fans out there as well. Wow, this porno has everything. Murder scene off frame cliche. There's something I need to tell you. Why did they choose to dub this scene and not the scene from Sin 31? Okay, this is just a matter of filling in stuff at this point. This is rock bottom. No, yeah, um, this movie totes cost $300,000 to make. 
Power of Price commands you! Commands? You couldn't even get the most overused phrase in cinematic history, right? What kind of movie is this? Well, that fake vomit is at least better than the fake blood. But what does this exorcist scene have to do with the shark? Is the shark making people demons or something? Hey, ever heard of a storyline? You couldn't even take the sound of the airplane out? There's no dialogue in this clip. Why couldn't the audio be muted? A creepy guy stares at a muscular woman for several minutes, takes photos of her, and then totally disappears. Quality filmmaking. Butt shot. You call that a scream? This is a scream. If the nun hails Satan, then why make her a nun? I know this is supposed to be the dramatic reveal that binds the movie together, but it doesn't add any solution to anything. This whole scene is a true example of how this movie has been a complete shitfest. Well done, Suicide Productions. Your name fits. That was a rock hitting the water, not a person. This totally random scene of a day at the local aquarium perfectly sums up this so-called movie. Everything's f***ing pointless. Yay, another after credit scene. I just can't get enough of those. Oh, come inside me. All right, thank you so much for watching this Cinema Sins parody. Uh -uh. I'm Michael Novak, and I create these videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to get more of them. And also be sure to go check out CinemaSins, obviously. Also, no hate towards the people who made this so-called movie. Respect to everyone. Peace.